If you're here, like me, you probably exported a video, uploaded it online, and it looked like doo-doo. Nothing like what you saw on your computer. This video will give you the settings you need to use in DaVinci Resolve to export a high quality video and show you how to save them so you never upload doo-doo again. I've been experimenting with upscaling exports for a few years and the results have convinced me to upload every video at 4K resolution, even if the footage is only 1080p. Here's why. If you export the same video made with 1080p footage in 4K and 1080p and compare them on your computer, you'll probably see no or very little difference. But what I've learned is every platform compresses your uploaded video and it's based on resolution, bit rate, and other factors. While it seemingly should not make a difference, almost every time I've compared the two, the 4K upload looks better on YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. So I always upload in 4K. To set this up, we need to start with our timeline and make sure we're set in a 4K setting. So go to timelines, timeline settings, and make sure that you're set. If you can't adjust it, just unclick the project settings here and adjust that. Now, depending on your computer, editing in 4K can be taxing, so you can change the setting right before export. Now, we'll head over to the deliver window. Now, there are a lot of preset export settings up here, but all of them limit some of the adjustments that we want to make. So we are gonna start with a custom export. Let's name our file and set our destination, preferably a fast drive that your original footage isn't being pulled from. The idea is that the drive isn't trying to read and write at the same time. The highest quality exports will be in ProRes or DNxHR, but the file sizes will be at least 10 times larger than the H.264 or H.265 formats that we're going to use. Now, these settings will help you achieve an export near the quality of ProRes and DNxHR, but with much more manageable file sizes. If you have the studio version of Resolve, we're going to select QuickTime and then H.265. Don't worry, if you don't have studio, go ahead and select MP4 and H.264. H.265 is designed to give a little bit better quality than H.264 while keeping a similar file size. And in my experience, that has held true. All right, select your resolution in 4K and your frames per second should match your timeline, which hopefully you set up to match your footage. There are a few settings you can set here in the quality to force Resolve to maintain a high bit rate. The bit rate is how much information per second is stored. So theoretically, the higher the bit rate, the higher quality up to a certain point. I prefer to set this rate at 50,000 for 24 frames per second. If you're exporting at 30 frames per second, take that to 60,000 and 60 frames per second to 100,000. These are numbers I've been using without seeing any loss in quality from moving up. This is the max bit rate. In the next setting, we're going to select constant bit rate. This will keep our bit rate constant throughout the video. Constant is just a preference for me. I've not seen any significant difference using variable outside of slightly different file sizes. We're gonna leave the rest of the settings along here the same. A few important settings that you don't want to miss under the advanced settings. If you're on a Mac, color space tag and gamma tag will need to be set to avoid color shift when viewing in QuickTime. This doesn't actually change your footage. The tag just directs QuickTime on how to display it. These three boxes speed up exporting by using previously rendered files info. We want the highest quality, so we want it to look back at our original camera files for all the information, as opposed to these rendered files. Now, before you click that add to render queue button, let's go ahead and save this preset so that we can use it again in the future. Click the three dots at the top of the window and click save as a new preset. Go ahead and name your preset and then click OK. Now it will show up in the top left hand corner in the drop down. Now, anytime you go to export a file at this resolution and frame rate, you can select that and all of the settings that we just went through will already be selected for you. All right, go ahead and click the add to render queue button and go over to the right side of your screen and highlight the renders that you want to export. You can click here. If you feel like you made a mistake, you can click the edit button and head back over to make any changes. If not, click and then click render all.
and the render will start. Are you just getting started in Resolve and want to learn more? Check out this playlist here for all of my videos about DaVinci Resolve.